I was reading the other day this book called The E-Myth Revisited, and it identified something in me that I, I didn't know, and yet I knew that I've been grappling with for a really long time. I have often identified myself as a Sherpa. I want to be of service. I know that it is part of my design. It's actually my love language. I love to receive it. I love to give it. And so this book is talking about how technicians are, are people that love tasks. Give them a task and they will be able to apply themselves. They'll always be, we had a rule in restaurants back in the day, uh, full hands in, full hands out. So even if I was going back to the dish pit, I would come in with tables, but if there was a way that I could, I would grab plates and bring them out to the tables. There was always something to do. Don't waste a trip. People who were incredibly efficient at it were very successful and while well, they were efficient. Um, I have made a living from this for a really long time. I've been uh, the person who would carry all the bags. I would um, clean the house. I, I don't know. I would just find ways, make work projects really at the end of the day. But there hasn't been a great amount of management. And so the technician needs a bit of a manager. And not all of us have these components. I certainly didn't. I've had to teach myself a lot about management, how to be uh, not necessarily doing things right so much as doing the right things. And so I've started to implement on Sundays, um, I guess probably since the beginning of the year, I've started to implement this task where every I'm planning the week and the month in advance, which I've never done before. I've tried, but it always runs aground of lack of steam, lack of enthusiasm, what have you. And so this week, I started to look back at the week before to make sense of, okay, well, I had some tasks. Did I, did I nail them? What did I miss on? What was dragging my energy away from? What, what did I lose pace on? What did I, what was I able to um, make sense of? And one thing really stood out for me when I, I have this constant cycle in my head that, oh, you're not doing enough, you're not getting it done, you're not, you're not meeting your targets and such, and it's an exhausting, endless hamster wheel, isn't it? And chances are, if you're human, you, you're, you'll recognize this, this part of being human. And um, when I started to look at what I had actually got done, when I, when I focused on what I had accomplished, there was a better feeling in my body. It was much more uh, invigorative. I was, I felt upright, I felt composed, I felt engaged, and I was grateful for that. I have spent the last decade working one-on-one -on -one in a room with people. And there were periods of that time where I had to spend been, let's say 80% of my time focusing on promoting my services and I found that exhausting. It wasn't a natural place for me. I was spending maybe 20% of my time treating and often I was, I was doing that um, complimentary to try to build my business and maybe that's not the best way to do it. I don't know about that. But what I do know is that when I switched it, when I worked with a community that was willing to drive people to my business, I was able to focus on the thing that I really wanted to spend time improving, being one-on-one -on -one in a room with people. And that was great until I reached a point of burnout, which was about a year ago. You may recognize the date we all kind of went home and, and just never left around then. I'm now recognizing, thanks to this book and other things that I've read and looked at, that there's a mentality that's been missing, and it's one of entrepreneurial spirit, if you will. I, I think the entrepreneur, uh, this guy suggests that 70% of an individual, like we often forget that I, I approach this like I'm one person, but really I'm three. I'm the entrepreneur, I'm the manager, and the technician, but I've been letting the technician do most of the work. I haven't given any attention to the entrepreneur and the manager has just kind of been adrift. 
rudderless because they, they haven't been assigned tasks. And um, Abraham Lincoln famously said that if you gave him the task of chopping down a tree, he would spend the first four hours sharpening the blade. And so I suggest to you and to myself here in this weird video journal that I could spend a bit more time honing the edge of the blade and figuring out where exactly to apply it so that my technician is more doing the right things rather than doing things right. That my manager is, is willing to allocate time and to spend time reviewing the week previous and assessing the week to come. How can I develop more attention? Where can I invest that attention? Where can I direct and manage my focus so that ultimately I'm more efficacious, more present? I've spent a lot of time in the last two, three decades focusing on how that works in the body. How, uh, how a particular posture can have these influences on decision making and effectiveness. And I've taken that, created courses, and I'm developing them, sharing them in the world. And that feels really good because I sometimes thought that these last 20, 30 years were like, God, what was I doing? But with lockdown, with everything else, I've really had the time to reframe things and I hope that you have too, that you've taken a moment to reflect upon everything that life has brought you, that you've gone out and generated, that you've um, worked to develop and have taken some time to extract from that those pearls of wisdom, the nuggets of principle and, and concept that ultimately will, will share with the greater self and the world. I have grappled with living a meaningful life. And if you have too, then, well, gosh, don't I feel you. It's my hope that you and I are growing together. And though we may be doing that in our, in our spheres, we, we have a polarity that your effort and your willingness to grow and evolve is encouraging my own and, and vice versa. So it's my dream that this finds you well, that more than anything before all else, it finds you kind to yourself and that you are recognizing and taking the time to recognize growth. Believe me, it's happening. It, it may take longer to accrue than you believe, but I, I truly firmly believe that you are improving that I'm improving and that ultimately the aggregate of that is what we call life. So here's to life. May it find you well and wonderful. All of your people safe and everything viewed with compassion and gratitude. Okay. Keep shining my friends. Peace.